you are looking at the white collar, billion dollar, big baller, bougie brawler, the one and only swole flake of Snowflake Mountain, Randy Wentworth. And you guys ask questions and I am here to deliver some answers. So let's do this. Before we do this, don't get on me about the video production quality and the editing and all that. Listen, this is my first YouTube video. I'm trying here, all right? I was reading most of the questions and honestly, like all of them were about the same two things. So I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna answer those first and then I'll get on with the rest of the questions. <laughs> of course, the main topic you guys asked about, you wanna know what's going on with Devin. I mean, here's just a few of the questions I'll throw in over here, hopefully in post-production, they'll be up there. Otherwise, I'm just waving my hand over here like a crazy person. But uh, you guys are asking, how are you and Devin? What happened with you and Devin? Why are you getting rejected at one point and then at another point you guys are holding hands? What's going on? Listen, we're two young people in the woods for like a month with nothing else to do. It's just a nice little, little flirtation ship is all it was. I mean, after the show, we're still really good friends. Nothing really came out of it. I mean, I, we never really expected anything to come out of it. It was just a little... There's two people having fun in the wilderness, you know what I mean? Speaking of relationships, this person asks, my relationship status. And a lot of people in my DMs ask my relationship status, but I hate to break it to you. I'm taken, I got a beautiful girlfriend, look at her. Look how gorgeous she is. So I'm sorry, I'm off the market, taken now, sealed, signed, delivered. Hope I said that expression right. And the other topic, that I got asked about. I mean, you guys can guess what it is. It's about that specific scene, climbing a tree, wearing a harness. And I mean, these are the kind of questions I got. I mean, how big is the package? Thanks, Liam, for bringing that up. I really appreciate it. Uh, asking about an OnlyFans. I hate to break it to you. Uh, no OnlyFans coming soon. But when it does come, I will let you know and it will be glorious, I can promise you. All right, now that we got past questions about my genitals, let's move on to some more questions about the show. So this person asked, when was Snowflake Mountain filmed and how long were we there? It was filmed about a year ago. And for some reason, the number 18 is stuck in my head. I wanna say it was 18 days, it was around three weeks. Uh, but honestly, I'm not overly sure. And this person asks, where was it filmed and what time of the year was it? It was during the summer, but it was in the Lake District in the UK, and it was so cold there. It was not summer weather at all. Did you all really think that you were going to a resort? Yes, I'm telling you, we all thought we were going to a villa. I had all my best outfits packed. I had no winter clothes on me. I was not prepared for the wilderness at all. Now, you're asking, did they actually blow up your luggage? That sounds to me like you did not watch the entire season. So go back, watch the entire season, and then get back and answer your own question. Did you really actually do that poop on the mountain while everyone watched? No comment. How crispy is your hair? Listen, stop coming after me. This hair takes a lot of product just to get it looking like this. And at Snowflake Mountain, we literally just had a bar of soap and we had lake water to shower with. I could not maintain this with lake water and soap. It was fried. That's why I was like always wearing hats. Who were you closest with on the show? Now I know what you're doing. You're trying to get me to say Devin and get rumors swirling and whatnot, but believe it or not, I was actually closest with Ray on the show. I mean, we were we were R and R. We were doing all these activities together, camp life. We were just having fun out there, man. Speaking of Ray, did Ray get to try s'mores? Guys, listen, we're trying to get s'mores to Ray. We're trying our best. We're gonna fly her over here just to try a s'more. It will happen, I promise you. Do you still hang out with any of the other snowflakes? Well, listen, I live in Florida. Some live in New York. Some live in LA. Some live in the UK. So I haven't seen any of them since the show. But I mean, we have a group chat and we message in it daily, so I still keep up with all of them. All right, now what did I learn from the trip and what areas of personal growth did I appreciate the most? Now I know I've been catching some flack online. People are saying like, oh, Randy stayed the same the whole time, he didn't learn anything. But honestly, what I learned was how to be vulnerable. I mean, I fell flat on my face 
in front of thousands and thousands and thousands of people trying to pick up a girl. I mean, it made me feel like, okay, I can fall flat on my face, and once I get back up, I'm gonna be completely fine. And ever since then, I haven't been afraid of commitment. I haven't been afraid of being vulnerable, and I think that's what I learned the most. Right, this person wants to know, what do I do for work? Believe it or not, I actually am a professional wrestler. That is my job. I professionally wrestle people for a living. It's pretty sick, not gonna lie. Now, what company do I work for? Well, I'm actually just an independent pro wrestler right now. So I'm not in a WWE, I'm not in an AEW, I'm just wrestling local shows in Florida in the Southeast right now. Where can we go to see your matches? Well, you can go somewhere in the Southeast in Florida where I am performing. Other than that, I will be uploading matches to this channel on YouTube. I'll be posting old matches. I'll be posting new matches. You can see me wrestle on this channel. AEW or WWE? Listen, why not both? And hey, speaking of both, I'm just gonna say this. Keep your eye out in the wrestling world this week. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That's all I'll say. How do I achieve this beard? Listen, pure genetics, baby. I got that Portuguese thick hair, and then I got this Irish nice hair color. That's how you get this greatness right here. Oh, and this anonymous person asks, who is cooler, Matt or Joel? No cap. Well, with that vernacular, I have to assume some Gen Z person asked this question. But listen, pal, uh, I, I'm not going to answer this. Why don't you guys answer? Comment below. Who's cooler, Matt or Joel? Let me know. Or Cat. Let's throw Cat in the discussion, too. Oh, and Ray asked a fun question. Describe each cast member with one word. All right, let me do this. Ray, positivity. Liam, twerking. Deandra, baby. Daria, poetic. Devin, ah, uh, strong. Carl, capable. Francesca, pirate. Solomon, misunderstood. Sunny, ah, uh, chill. And then Olivia, sweet. All right, you guys do the same thing. Comment one word for each cast member. Let me know how to describe them. All right, that's it for this video. That's all the questions. If you got any more, comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. This channel is going to be super active, so make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be posting matches. I'm going to be posting vlogs, Snowflake Mountain content, my Twitch streams. I'm going to be putting up highlights there. I'm going to be putting up previews of matches, UFC predictions, sports gambling picks, Anything you can think of, this is going to be super active. And I have a very special video coming out next Tuesday. So subscribe, like the video, comment below, and have a good day. Oh, and don't forget to hashtag win with Wentworth.